First to me is that Jesus isn't locked in to the shadow I make of him. You know, like um, a lot of times we turn our backs to the sun and it creates a shadow of ourself on the opposite horizon. And in many cultures, we think it's God. That's a lot of even what church does sometimes is we make, Pascal said it this way, said that, you know, God made man in his image and then man returned the favor. And I think sometimes worship is supposed to break down all of our, it, Jesus transcends as a living God, our cultural forms of him even, what we think he is. And so for me, one is to, is to open people up to the reality of a present, living, resurrected Jesus in, in, in our lives. And uh, that he wants to take our hand, that he wants to walk in a journey with us. And then, and then secondly, um, for me, it's, 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 you know, Heschel says it this way, he says that life is routine and routine is resistance to the wonder. So the, the concept that the glory of God is something we're waiting on. You know, I tend to kind of, and we hear that in worship here too, but it's like, I don't generally say, God, please let your glory come. Because, because, because most theologians, we don't practice it well in our worship. But most guys, they don't really believe that. They believe that the glory of the Lord fills the earth and one day all flesh will see it together. So, you know, when my three-year-old takes us for a walk, she isn't, she isn't lacking for glory or wonder. If you let her lead you in a walk, she doesn't miss a tree or a blade of grass or any of this equipment that she would tear down or <laughs> this would be amazing. You know what I mean? It's like there's every single person that my son meets is amazing and wonder filled. And so, so I think that's one of the things that happens as we get older, uh, uh, even as worshipers, is, is, is we get locked into catchphrases and ideas. And I think the more you worship, the more you realize, oh, you are here, God. And, 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 you know, the eternal question from the very beginning in the garden wasn't, where is God? The eternal question was God coming into the garden and us hiding behind the bushes and him saying, where is man? I want to walk with you. And that's what I hope people take away is that there's a father who knows us by name and he wants to walk with us and he wants relationship with us. And that's why he sent his son, Jesus, not just to die for us, not just to be the truth, but to be the way that leads to that kind of relationship. And, and that's, uh, yeah, that's a, I think that's a beautiful thing. I hope people would take that away.